हेलो गाइस आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली के कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द सेकंड स्पेशल पर्पस टू टर्मिनल डायोड दैट इज अ वेरेक्टर डायोड सो व्हाट इज अ वेरेक्टर डायोड हाउ डू वी कंस्ट्रक्ट इट व्हाट आर द एडवांटेजेस डिसएडवांटेजेस एंड द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ वेरेक्टर डायोड ऑल ऑफ दीस थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन दिस वीडियो इटसेल्फ सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी रियली इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इंफॉर्मेटिव वन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आर डिस्कशन विद द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द वेरेक्टर डायोड व्हाट इज अ वेरेक्टर डायोड द वेरेक्टर मींस द वेरिएबल capacitor right so the capacitance of this diode is going to vary right so here uh, it is a, again a pn junction diode which is used as a variable capacitor how it is used as a variable capacitor how i can vary the capacitance associated with any pn junction diode we can vary it by changing the reverse bias right so any diode by which i can change the capacitance associated with it by changing the voltage the reverse voltage applied to it is the varactor or the variable capacitor diode right so uh, varactor diode is used in various application where variable capacitance is desired by controlling the voltage so with the help of voltage actually what i am changing i am changing the capacitance value and i am controlling it according to my requirement i can have the particular capacitance value with the help of varactor diode right so now here it is used in the semiconductor microwave solid state devices we are going to see various other application also so this is also one of the application it is also known as very cap diode right so very cap means variable capacitance so varactor diode or very cap diode is the same thing it can give the desired capacitance change on the application of the reverse bias voltage now uh, we can specially manufacture it and we can optimize them such that they are making a very high range of change in capacitance like if i want a very high range of change in capacitance i can make my diode with a perfect material with a perfect type of manufacturing process so what is this perfect material how we make a very cap we are going to see also that thing now what is the gain associated with this type of diode because there will always be a gain associated with the diode so the gain uh, will be depending upon the varactor diode junction properties over here. Here, right so because here we are working and we are operating it in the reverse bias so gain will be dependent upon the reverse bias voltage so gain is going to depend upon the junction properties what are the junction properties so it depends upon uh, the various uh, type of voltage level that we have applied what kind of reverse vo voltage that i have applied it depends upon the type of material used for the varactor formation as well and because it depends upon the properties it is also known as abrupt varactor diode because we are going to change the characteristics of the varactor by changing the a voltage level right so this is also known as the abrupt varactor diode so it is also known as the gallium arsenide varactor diode because mostly gallium arsenide is used for its construction and it is also known as hyper abrupt varactor right so these are all the names now what is the symbol in the symbol you can see we have the symbol of a diode and here we have the symbol of capacitor also right so you can see the symbol what was the symbol of led if you remember led was the symbol which is uh, just emitting out the light so here we represent some arrow which were representing the light output here we have a capacitor representation it is representing that this diode is used as a variable capacitor or very cap so capacitor symbol at one end of the diode is used which represent the variable capacitor characteristics of the diode so now how we uh, make it work how it is working the how the variable uh, capacitor very cap is working so we all know what is a capacitor capacitor are the two conductors which are separated by the insulating media so these two conductors are charged in the opposite manner when we apply some external voltage so here at the two terminals if i apply some electric field or voltage this plate is going to become positive charge if i am sending the positive charge to this terminal and because of the positive charge over here there will be induced a negative charge right so capacitance is directly proportional to the area of plate that we know 
फ्रॉम द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट द कैपेसिटर कैपेसिटेंस इज एपसाइल ए अपॉन डी इफ एरिया इंक्रीज कैपेसिटेंस इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज सो द कैपेसिटर इज बिहेविंग लाइक अ टू कंडक्टिंग प्लेट सेपरेटेड विद डाय इलेक्ट्रिक डिप्लीशन रीजन नाउ वेन आई हैव अ डायोड इन द डायोड वी हैव अ डिप्लीशन रीजन द डिप्लीशन रीजन इज डाय इलेक्ट्रिक राइट विच बिहेव एज अ डाय इलेक्ट्रिक मीडियम बिटवीन द टू कंडक्टिंग प्लेट एंड द पी एन एन साइड विल बी Uh, the conductors right so here we will be having excess of charge carriers which will be behaving like a conductor right so here in the p side we will be having excess of holes in the n side we will be having excess of electrons and due to which it will be behaving like a conductor like we have the two plates of conductor over here right so depletion region is acting as a dielectric size of depletion region is going to change with the reverse bias and when i change the size of the de depletion region the capacitance is going to increase or decrease based upon the depletion region size so if i increase the reverse voltage depletion region length is going to increase if i have a higher reverse voltage i will be having more depletion region if i have the lesser reverse voltage i have lesser depletion region so at the higher reverse voltage depletion region is higher which means epsilon a upon d in here uh, d is the distance between the two plates if the depletion region becomes higher so distance between the two conductors become high in the diode so if d increase the capacitance is going to decrease if i decrease the uh, reverse bias voltage depletion region is going to decrease which means d decrease and the capacitance is going to increase so now i hope you understood how it is working now coming to the various characteristics it is going to produce very less noise as compared to the other conventional diodes and this is a very big advantage of using the varactor it is available at low cost again it is a very big advantage of using the varactor it is very small in size and very light it in weight it is not useful when it is operated in the forward bias because in the forward bias depletion region is very less so it will not be behaving like a capacitor right so it it is uh, used as a very cap or the variable capacitor when it is reverse bias if you increase the reverse bias capacitance is going to increase so this is how we have the decrease in the depletion uh, layer with respect to the reverse bias voltage so now coming to the various applications of the varactor diode first it is used in the voltage controlled oscillator vco designing right so it is used again in the various communication purposes so first it is used in the voltage control oscillator designing it is uh, used in the parametric amplifiers and the frequency multipliers as well so i hope you understood each and everything about the varactor diode and if you have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and i will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible I hope you like this session if you like it please push the like button subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and also give me your feedback thank you so much